so I was just about to start vlogging here because hey guys how you doing it's been another minute <laughs> so uh, I was about to start vlogging when um, this just kind of popped up I don't even know how I came across it but this just kind of popped up um, you guys we're at 400 subscribers currently I just want to say hey somebody text me oh, I'm loved. I just want to say thank you to all of you guys um, for sticking with me, for bearing with me. Um, I'm not trying to make any excuses again for not posting videos, but I just want to say thank you for sticking with me, and I'm sorry I've not been posting very much lately. Um, I'm kind of going through a, like, I don't even know what to call it. But one of those phases in life where you're just kind of like, what am I doing with my life? Just kind of going through like one of those phases where I'm like, what, what am I doing with my life? Like, am I progressing in any way for myself? Am I progressing any way in a career wise? Am I progressing any way in any way? Like, you know, I'm just, I kind of feel like I'm just kind of stuck doing what I am doing, you know, and not progressing in any way. Um, so it's kind of like stressing me out and when I, I'm one of those people where if I get really stressed out then I just kind of shut down and just kind of do nothing until something figures itself out but you know you gotta push through you gotta go through but anyways I just want to say thank you to all 400 of you that have decided you know what this person is is worth sticking around for so I thank you guys very very much you guys are the real MVPs so anyways um, I was gonna try to vlog today um, it is Tuesday uh, December 11th and um, I just got ready it's 11 11 30 11 30 in the morning um, I don't really know what's going down today I don't really have plans for the day. We're just gonna kind of see what happens. Yeah. So we don't normally get snow here in our town. Like in the state that I live in, we get snow pretty much everywhere, but the town that I live in. But what do we have? <laughs> we have leaves. Oh, we have leaves just everywhere in our backyard. Um, so that is our extent of snow, I guess you could call it. Are you sure you want one right now? You want your treat right now? It's a little early. He's like, yeah, come on, human, just give it to me. Okay. Oh, I'm so rude. Excuse you. What are you doing? So for whatever reason, like very particular hot chocolate mix doesn't settle with me very well, so I have to like find alternatives and I found something that is working so far it doesn't upset my stomach and <laughs> it's actually the Nesquik chocolate powder so I just heat up some milk and then put this in it and then like you know make it my hot chocolate but anyways um it's just kind of weird how hot chocolate doesn't settle with me very well unless you know I do it in a warm chocolate milk form and a fun fact, this huge thing, we got it on November 15th, 2013, um, when I had open heart surgery in U UCLA, California. Um, a neighbor actually gave this to me to help get some nutrients, something in me that, you know, isn't like a huge, like, isn't solid. You know, I could just drink it and get something in me. Um, and we've had it since then. 
It is super, super, super low now. Like, super, super, super low. Um, but, like, it's been five? No, way more than five. I can't count. Um, one, two, three, four, no, five. I can count five years. dog needs his own channel because he just he thinks he just owns everything so he'll just he'll just jump on anything if he can jump on it he'll he'll do it because obviously that's how it works and he's he's so innocent too you're like he's so innocent I can't do anything he's so cute okay so I suck at vlogging so um, it's actually the next day. It's the it's the twelfth now, Wednesday. Um, it's evening. It's like almost six. I need to sneeze. So I actually had some footage. I do this a lot. I sit and record stuff, and then I never do anything with it. So I actually had some footage from a while ago. I honestly don't remember exactly when it is. Um, but I'm gonna hurry and insert that here. Um, so here's that. So can you guess what we're doing? Well, I got my backpack packed. Got this packed. We are going to Vegas. So it is another Vegas weekend, but let me tell you, this day has already been eventful. I mean, it's now 4.30, but last night my car battery died. And then today after work, it died again, and luckily, well, so my sister saved us last night. Luckily, I have amazing friends and family in my life. So then Angie came and saved me today, and we discovered the battery was leaking something. Anyway, so I had to hurry and go get a new battery for the car. So I got off work at one, and I just got home. It's 4.30, so it's been an interesting day, to say the least, but I am now pretty much just finished packing. We're gonna head to Vegas for the weekend, just kind of chill. I need it after these few weeks. I feel like everyone in my family, well, my mom and my dad, whatever, just need a chill weekend after these weeks. So, yeah, here we go. On a new adventure, well, it's, it's like the same adventure, but like new. Does that make sense? Probably not. Also, my mom's talking to my grandma. She kind of talks on the phone loud. Maybe we all do. But can you hear her? <laughs> Sorry, mom. actually going to try to film videos today. Wow! But first, mother had some chores for us. This is, I, want, I don't know, a downside of still living at home. Um, you still get chores. So, she left us some things to do and we're going to hurry and do them so that they're out of the way. And then we can do our video. So, anyways, first up. First up is to put the 
Laundry and the washer into the dryer. Pretty simple. Here we go. Ah, they're towels. I see. Grab them. <laughs> Okay, next, she wanted us to just kind of wipe down, clean the doggy door, like in between um, the two doors, and then just kind of wipe down the doors. So, let's do that one now. put a new bar of soap over on her bathroom tub. Easy enough. And we did it! Okay, well, that was pretty simple and fast. So, now we can get into making videos. So, I like have some ideas written down. I gotta pull them out, see if I wanna do any today, if I wanna come up with something new. Um, I'm, this is the part that I struggle with the most, like, is getting an idea, because once I have an idea, I can film it, I can edit it, I can get it up pretty darn easily, but it's the whole, like, getting, um, an idea first is what I struggle with the most it's it, I don't know why like I can't be creative with ideas and I mean I don't have the money to go out and buy stuff just to unbox and try out like unfortunately I mean that would be a lot of fun but at the same time it would kind of be a waste because if it's something I don't actually want like you know, that I just wanted to try out, but when actually use, would it be worth it? I don't know. So, let me pull out my little handy dandy book. Hold, please. Okay, so now we should be caught up. So, I just hurry, want to hurry and like clear up kind of an elephant in the room. Because um, I know people will probably ask if I don't say anything about it. So, let me set you guys down. So if you guys can tell, I do have another new phone. Um, so I have bought the iPhone 7 Plus, it was a refurbished phone, um, and all that. Now I have the 10s Max. Um, I'm not going to go into the full story because it is a personal story and whatever, but just know this phone was basically gifted to me. Um, so that's why if you guys are like, you have another new phone, uh, my dad actually has my 7 Plus, he's using my 7 Plus, um, I'm just gonna say that this one was gifted to me because it was, it was basically gifted to me, but I'm not gonna go into details because it is a personal story, but just so that you guys know and aren't like, uh, didn't you just get a new phone, why'd you get another new phone, that is why, and yes, I have the 10s Max now. So, that elephant is covered. Okay, so before... Oh, you guys are tilted. Hold, please. Here you go. Okay, so before anyone is like, oh my gosh, like, either you're so lucky, or why, why are you so lucky? Why do you deserve this or anything? Let me just say, like, I am incredibly thankful that I was gifted this, but I want to tell you guys a story actually. I wanted to tell you guys for quite a while actually, but I just like, I have no reason to bring it up. Um, so the Make-A-Wish Foundation, um, if you guys know about that, um, a lot of times they will give kids with disabilities or 
different patients with different issues um, that may not have as many opportunities in life. Um, the opportunity to, I believe they give them these three, three wishes and then they like, they like pick their top three and then they see like what they can do, but basically they help make kids' wishes come true, basically um, is what it is. Um, I have a friend um, who is currently going through the process of Make-A-Wish. Um, if you guys want to check out their channel, I'm going to leave a description down below. They are the Archer Adventures. Um, so yeah, go check them out. They're great. Um, she has, uh, Don Luis has uh, LHS, which is um, kind of, well it is the opposite of me because I have HRHS and she has HLHS and she's going through the opportunity of doing the Make-A-Wish Foundation right now. So go check out her videos and check out the whole adventure with that because I am so happy that she's having the opportunity to do that. Um, I think it's such an amazing opportunity and something really cool that um, that people are able to do for different patients, different kids with different disabilities or different opportunities. Um, anyway, so what I wanted to say is I actually I'm not a kid anymore so like I can't I can't have the opportunity to do it anymore but I was given the chance to do make a wish uh, I w they did like contact and say hey you know because I only have half, I only have half heart if you guys don't know that um, I have HRHS which is hypoplastic right heart syndrome so I have a form of CHD congenital heart defect um, so yeah, I, I was given the opportu opportunity to um, do the Make-A-Wish Foundation, but my parents raised me in a very different way um, where I, I really, I don't want people to give me stuff. I don't want to just be given stuff. I want to make sure I work for it in any way possible, make sure that I work for the stuff that I get, make sure that I work for the stuff that I want. Um, that's why like birthdays and Christmas is so hard for me when people are like, oh, what do you want? I'm like, well, there's stuff I want, but like in my mind, I will just work until I am able to afford it on my own. So I actually declined um, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I, I told my parents because it was they weren't contacting me personally because I was a kid, obviously. But I told my parents if, you know, who, well I asked my parents, I was like, who's paying for it? Like, how is this being done and whatever? And, uh, you know, my parents explained, you know, that uh, these people, these generous people, you know, come up with the money to give us the opportunity to do it and whatever. And I said, well, how, I basically said, how is that fair where we're doing nothing um, to get just anything I would want, you know, for free? So, long story short, I actually declined my Make-A-Wish Foundation opportunity, um, which is, um, I wouldn't say it's sad, I'm just, you know, it's, it's a different story, you know, lots, I've, I mean, I, I'm so thankful for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, I'm so thankful for what they do and what they can do, and I love hearing stories of kids getting the opportunity to have that opportunity, um, but just I wanted to tell you guys but I never knew how to bring it up I declined my Make-A-Wish Foundation I said no I said if I'm not working for it then it's not worth it to me you know I wanted to make sure that it was worth it for me and you know worth their time and my efforts and I mean yes I have half a heart I have struggles through my life just as anybody else does but I have health issues all my life I will for the rest of my life it's just a given thing it's just how I live my life and how I have to live my life but I still had incredible parents who taught me that you know not everything is worth it unless you put the effort into it and so anyways long story short um, my parents and I talked about this because we were kind of like you know this this is a crazy expensive phone um, so this is almost almost kind of like a make-a-wish opportunity you know I get this super expensive phone for basically nothing um, so it's kind of like my uh, young adult make-a-wish foundation type thing which but I'm not I'm not trying to brag or anything because honestly I do not feel like I deserve this phone um, I mean yes it is a crazy fancy phone 
and it is expensive beyond anything, but um, but I'm very thankful um, that I was gifted it, and I'm not trying to shove it in anyone's face and be like, hey look, I have the most expensive iPhone there is, you know? So anyways, I just wanted to give you that little story. Let me break this right as I'm talking about it. Um, I just wanted to tell you that story. I've actually wanted to tell you for quite a while, but like I said, I didn't know how to really bring it up. You know, there's no reason to really bring it up, but I just thought it was an interesting story and I wanted to share with you guys. So, there's that story. <laughs>